In the videos before this, we've been talking a lot about different combinations of multiplication and, and how to deal with it in the stack model and what it really means. In this video, we're going to try some pretty large numbers and just have fun with it to see if we have the pattern and routine of this multiplication down. So let's just make up a number. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4. And let me just check out one thing here. Before I even attempt this, let's make sure I haven't done too much, right? Because this 4 will, will be multiplied by these 3, 6, 7 numbers. So, so here we have 7 combinations to look at. And then another 7. So 28 combinations in total. And that's just, I think, well not too much, but too much to fit here on the page. But I think I could fit this. Here we have a 6 digit by a 4 digit number. And what we do, as we've been doing in the past, start here, multiply by all the combinations. So four. So, so before I even do this, remember, we're breaking up these numbers in pieces. And really, we only have to keep track of our multiplication tables up to 9, which is nice. So 4 times 3 is 12. So 12, 1, 10, 2 ones. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1, 17. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1. So 21. 4 times 6, 24, plus 2, 26. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30. And um, 4 times 8 is 32, plus 3 is 35. So as we go through this, um, assume I don't make any mistakes, which I hope I don't, we really have to be careful to be neat and line this up, otherwise we're going to lose track of what's happening. Now because I'm going to have so many numbers up here, I'm going to erase these before I move on to the next digit. Okay, so now we're moving on to the 3. I'll we'll change colors here. And this time that's 30. So we want to start with a 0 right here. And then multiply 3 by 3 to get 9 or 9D. So we have to have that first 0 placeholder. And I'm sorry, I want to go back and check my first series of multiplication because uh, there's just enough here for me to get messed up on if I if, especially have a mistake in the beginning. So 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus that 1, 17. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry the 1 from the 17, 21. So 4 times 6, 24. Plus the 2, 26. 4 times 7, 28. Plus the 2 from 26, 30. 4 times 8, 32. Plus the 3, 35. Okay. So now, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. So put a 2 here and a 1 in the next place. 3 times 5 is 15, plus the 1, 16. 16 is right there. 3 times 6 is 18, plus the 1, 19. Let's keep carrying. 3 times 7 is 21, plus the 1, 22. And then 3 times 8, 24, plus the 2, 26. And note, I'm trying to keep this lined up. And if you find that things are, are, are starting to not line up, Move them around because that's where you really will lose track. Okay. I'm going to erase up here. And now we move on to our next digit, this time a 2. So now it's 200 times 3, and that gives us 600. So that'll go here. You might want to start with the two zeros. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. So 0 and 1. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1, 13. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1, 15. 2 times 8, 16, plus 1, 17. And we've got one more row to go. Erase these. If you have room in your paper, you can just cross them out and stack up. But I don't have the room. Now last we have the 1. And that's nice because it's just 1,000 times 3, we'll start here with 3,000. Okay, so you, you see we started with by adding 1, 0, then 2, now 3. It's really important to make sure you have the correct place position. And here, 1 times each of these numbers will just spit back the number we're multiplying by. So 1 times 3 gave us 3. 1 times 4 will give us 4. 1 times 5 will give us 5. 1 times 6 will give us 6. 1 times 7 will give us 7. And 1 times 8 will give us 8. And now it's, you see why it's so important to line it up, because we've got to add. So 2 plus the zeros gives, gives us 2. 
9 and 7 is 16. 6, 2 is 8. 9, 10. Right? 6 plus 4 is 10. Um, here, I'm going to look at it as 7 and 6 is 13, plus 8, 21, plus 3, 24, 4 and 2. 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 2 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. 3 and 1 is 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 6 is 21. Carry the 2. 7 and 7 is 14, plus 4 is 18. Carry the 1. 8 and 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. And that's our answer. We get, put these commas in, 1,081,654,062. So that was just a practice one. I, I hope you see kind of what's happening here. And I also hope I didn't make any mistakes. Thanks.